Okay, now let's look at this question. Yeah, a rider of mass uh, 60 kg rides on a Ferris wheel as shown in the figure. The rider moves in a vertical circle okay, of radius 10 meter at a constant speed of 3 meter per second. Calculate the normal force exerted on the rider at the bottom of the right and at the top of the right. Bottom and top. Okay, so uh, okay, first we have the is given the mass of the rider, uh, the radius of circle, uh, given the radius of circle 10 meter, constant speed. Uh, this one is meter per second. This speed is ang uh, is not angular speed. It's linear speed because it's meter. It's in meter. If angular angular speed which is the omega, omega is radian per second. Uh, this one is meter, meter per second, so it's, it's linear speed, V. Calculate the normal force. Uh, the normal force exerted on the rider. So this is from the, uh, sometimes the question, sorry, uh, some, so this normal force exerted on the rider, sometimes the question will say instead, um, you know, it is uh, some. Sometimes you give the words. Ah, sometimes this normal force exerted on the rider, it can be uh, it can be said as force exerted by the seat. Uh, force exerted by the seat. Uh, maybe uh, I should add some more. Uh, sometimes the question says instead of. Uh, Sada didn't say it's normal force. He said force exerted by the seat. Uh, force exerted by the seat. So on the rider. Force exerted by the seat on the rider. So this one of course is also normal force. Okay? The seat uh, provide the normal force to support the rider. Uh, the seat provide the provide the normal force, normal force to support the rider. Okay? Uh, so uh, this this one also means normal force, yeah. Also means normal force. Force exerted by the seat on the rider is the normal force. Uh, at the bottom of the right and the top, so we have two position here. We have the bottom and at the top. Okay. Now, uh, let us draw free body diagram. Okay. Oh, first we identify what kind of force, what kind of force uh, experienced by the rider. Okay. Okay, uh, so let's say at the top, at the top. So what force experienced by the rider? It has the, you know, it has the, uh, the weight of the rider, the weight downward mg. Okay, or we just put w, the weight, uh, and the normal force, uh, normal force, you know, uh, the rider, the seat, the seat exert normal force. Okay, uh, the seat exert normal force on the rider going up, so and the weight downward. Okay, for centripetal acceleration, always because the center is at the at the set at, at the bottom here, center of circle is bottom of the passenger, so the centripetal acceleration is downward. Okay, centripetal acceleration is downward, so going down is positive, going up is negative. Yeah, and at the bottom here. The weight of the person is also downward, the weight and uh, the normal force is going upward because the seat, the seat exert normal force on the person, yeah, upward. And the centripetal acceleration is uh, upward because why? Because the center of circle, the center of circle is at the top of the person, at the top of the person. So the centripetal acceleration is upward. So follow acceleration is positive, opposite acceleration is negative. Okay, uh, so this is how you draw the forces. But uh, um, now, okay, now let's do the bottom one. Uh, question A. Uh, let's do question A. Okay, at the bottom here. Okay, at the bottom here. Let's first draw the free body diagram nicely. Free body diagram. Okay. So draw the x-axis and the y-axis, alright, the point, the point mass, okay, 
So at the bottom here, uh, actually already have a free body diagram. Okay. All right. So we have the weight. The weight is downward. The weight is downward. The normal force is upward. Yeah, because this normal force, this normal force actually is the force exerted by the seat on the rider. Yeah. Uh, so the the normal force is going up because the person is sitting on the on the the person is sitting on the seat. Uh, so normal force is supporting upward. Okay. So this is at the bottom. So centripetal acceleration. Uh, our center, the center of circle actually is at the top. Our center of circle is actually at the top. So that's why our centripetal acceleration is directed towards the center of circle. Uh, centripetal acceleration is directed towards the towards the center of circle at the top. So follow the acceleration is positive, opposite is negative. Okay, this is Newton's second law. Okay, uh, so from here we can um, you know uh, do the uh, so this one only have y component, right? Uh, so now we can we can do some calculation. This is only the y component. Yeah, it doesn't have x component. Okay, and in the y component it has acceleration, isn't it? It got acceleration. Uh, got acceleration. That means uh, it got resultant force. Uh, got acceleration means got resultant force. So the F Y equal to M A. Uh, this acceleration is centripetal acceleration. And this resultant force is actually the centripetal force. Is actually the centripetal force. Okay. Uh, so now, uh, which was force is uh, same direction with acceleration? Normal for same direction, so it's positive, but the weight is opposite the acceleration, so it's negative. So we can put it as a normal uh, minus the weight. Uh, normal minus the weight. Uh, okay, and equal to m. Okay, we have a uh, so this AC, this AC formula, we have v square over r or r omega square or v omega. Okay, but since we have the V here, we have the V already and also the R, so we use the formula, uh, we use the formula V squared over R. Okay, so we substitute AC with V squared over R into this one and what do we get? We get uh, this one, uh, V squared over R. Okay, we substitute AC, we substitute AC with V squared over R. So, okay, so let us simplify, okay, and minus this W is actually mg, yeah, mg equal to mv square over r. Ah, okay. So I want to find the normal force, isn't it? I want to find the normal force. So my normal force is at the the front. So this one become what? This one become um, mv square over r um, plus mg. Ah, plus mg. Okay negative mg go to the front negative mg go to the front become uh, positive mg okay i leave it first i don't want to calculate first because i want to do comparison on the normal force i go to question b first yeah question b okay now let's look at question b i don't want to calculate first huh? let's go to question b okay question b is at the top of the cycle yeah top of the right so this one is at the top Okay, at the top, so draw our free body diagram. So our free body diagram, we also start with the drawing an x-axis and y-axis. Okay, for that, uh, okay, draw our x-axis and y-axis. And then this is our point mass. Now at the top here, at the top here, uh, yeah, same thing. We have the normal force going upward because this normal force is from the seat and we have the mg downward uh, and our center of circle when you're at the top position your center of circle is at the bottom it's at the bottom yeah at the top your center of circle is at the bottom uh, okay so when you're at the top position your center of circle is at the bottom here so that means your centripetal acceleration is downward uh, downward towards the center of circle okay so follow the acceleration is positive uh, opposite the acceleration is negative uh, opposite is negative okay uh, so now uh, we got our free body diagram 
Now, what do we do? Uh, we uh, okay, try out the uh, equations. Okay, so this one only has y component, and the y component has acceleration. That means you use Newton's second law. When you have acceleration, that means you have resultant force. You have resultant force. You have a resultant Fy equal to MAC. This one actually is the centripetal force. Okay. So what force are positive? Mg. Because Mg is same direction with acceleration is positive. So we have a positive Mg. Huh? Okay, I think we just put as W. Yeah, this is the weight. We start with weight first. Okay, because uh, it's the weight. Yeah. This is the weight. Okay. So the weight is positive. The weight is positive. And then negative the normal force. Normal force is opposite the acceleration. Opposite acceleration is negative. Uh, so it's negative the normal force. Uh, no, negative normal force. And AC we use mv square over r. Yeah. AC we use v square over r. So mv square over r. So uh, W is mg, uh, negative Wn, all right, mv squared over r, okay. Ah, I also want to uh, rearrange this square uh, equation, okay. Uh, okay, so now um, I got the equations, okay. Now I want to find the normal force, isn't it? The question asks for normal force, exited on the rider, okay, normal force. At the top of the side right so normal force i need to put at the front okay so uh, what i do is uh, i switch this normal force with mv square over r so normal force go to the other side become positive mv square become mv square over r become negative so actually the equation becomes this one yeah you can imagine this one go to the other side take the negative sign um, becomes this one isn't it Ah, okay. Yeah, correct, isn't it? mv square over r go to the other side become negative. Ah, yeah, it's correct. So compared to the equation just now, I think uh, this one I uh, also rearrange. I make it, I make it. Um, you know, become mg plus mv square over r. Okay, now I want you to compare between these two two position, the top and the bottom. Okay, the top and the bottom. Uh, okay, uh, this one is at the top. The sequence, I think I better. I think uh, I put this at the top, yeah, instead. Yeah, this one at the bottom. Uh, this one at the bottom. <laughs> this one at the top, yeah. I put this at the top and this one at the bottom. Uh, this one at the bottom. Okay, uh, this that should be better. Even though this is question B and this is question, uh, I um, okay. This is question B actually. This is question A. Okay, uh, this is at the top and this is at the bottom. So I want you to compare this one. The normal force for the top. This is the normal force at the top. Okay, normal force for the top and this is the normal force for the bottom. Which one has higher normal force? Which one will have higher normal force? Is it the top? Is it the top one or the bottom one? Which one will have higher normal force? Ah, you see the difference here? This one is minus mv squared over r. This one is plus mv squared over r. Yeah, this one is plus mv squared. This one is minus. So of course, this one is lower. Uh, this one is become, uh, become lower. Lower, lower. Uh, this one has a higher force. At the bottom, at the bottom has a higher normal force. At the top here has a lower normal force. Let us calculate and see. Yeah, let us calculate and see at the top one. Yeah, substitute the value. Uh, what is the mass? What is the mass first? Sixty kilogram. Okay, sixty kilogram nine point eight one. And then minus the 60, what is a V? What is a V here? V is a 3, 3, okay. 3 square over R. What is a R, R, R? What is a R? 10, 10 meter. Uh, 10 meter. 
10. Okay, so what's the answer? Let's calculate. Okay, um, so uh, 534.6 Newton. Uh, that's the normal force at the top. How about the bottom? Okay, how about the bottom? Let's calculate and see. And this one we also put uh, the value, you know, 60 kilogram, 9.81, and then plus uh, 60, and then this speed is 3 also. The, the radius is 10. What do we get? What do we get? Uh, I got the answer is 642.6. Uh, 642.6. 642.6 you know 6.2.642.6 newton uh, this one at the bottom ah uh, you see that the bottom one has higher normal force ah uh, the bottom one the bottom one has higher normal force compared to the top has a lower normal force okay ah uh, you see ah uh, because uh, why why uh, so normal for ferris wheel uh, this one has a no high, lower normal force, okay, and the bottom here has a higher normal force, okay. So that means uh, if this wheel, uh, you know, rotate too fast, the pers there's higher possibility that uh, the the person will fly off the Ferris wheel, uh, fly off the Ferris wheel from the top position, ah, uh, because there. You feel like you are flying, yeah, not in contact with the seat anymore. Ah, uh, you more, more is higher probability you will, you know, uh, lose contact from the seat from the top position, yeah, because at the top there your normal force is lower. Ah, uh, yeah, when the normal force becomes zero, when the normal force becomes zero, you are not touching the seat anymore. Yeah, you fly off the seat okay uh, that's when normal force equal to zero yeah you are not in contact anymore not in contact with the seat anymore how to get uh, not in contact with the seat it is when it is when your speed is too high uh, when you see when your speed your this is your speed this is your speed when your speed you see this is your speed if you increase your speed some more if you increase your speed some more there is a point, there is a point where the normal force becomes zero. Uh, the, when your speed increases, yeah, until the point that n equal to mg minus, yeah, mv square over r, when your speed increase, 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 to a point that mv square over r becomes mg also. So mg minus mg, that's how you get zero normal force. And that's the point where you fly off the seat at that speed. Uh, okay, you fly off the seat when the mv square over r equal to mg. Uh, yeah, then you are not in contact with the seat anymore. The normal force becomes zero. So is we can say at the top top position is always the unsafe. Uh, at the top position is always the unsafe position, but at the bottom. At the bottom here, you have a very high normal force. Uh, here is a safe position. Understand? Here is a safe position. So top is unsafe, bottom is a safe position. This is what I want to say. Okay? So, okay, let's move on to the next video.